Nikki's presentation is entitled, You Are What Eats You, Monarch Migration, the Red Milkweed Beetle, and Common Milkweed. Imagine the wings of a butterfly. How many beats would it take to get from the northern United States all the way down to Mexico? Every year, the monarch butterfly completes this incredible migration in vast numbers. The population size of monarchs is estimated by the hectares of trees covered in butterflies. At its peak in the 1990s, they would have covered 18 football fields. In 2017, it was just three. This is part of a global decline in pollinators that has become alarming. The decline in milkweed can be linked to a decline in my study species, common milkweed, because it is the plant where monarchs lay their eggs. Milkweed used to grow in large numbers across the landscape, often in farm fields, but the rise of chemicals, particularly Roundup, has led to the elimination of milkweed in much of America's heartland. If we want to preserve the monarch butterfly, we need more milkweed, but this is challenging because we know so little about how it reproduces. Milkweed is a fascinating species because it produces toxic compounds to deter insects. Some insects have found ways to incorporate these toxins in their bodies as a defense, including the monarch and the red milkweed beetle. When the red milkweed beetle feeds on common milkweed, it has the potential to increase these toxic compounds in the nectar, which can change who visits a flower, how long they stay, and how much pollen they take with them when they leave. This matters a lot to plants. They need an insect to take pollen from them, bring it to another milkweed plant, without getting distracted by that pretty thistle over there. But insects, they don't want to take the pollen. They want the nectar, and they want it for free, which can be a great loss for plants. Because reproduction is costly. Those big bunches of flowers, all that nectar, it takes a lot of energy. So what I want to know is, does feeding by the red milkweed beetle change the nectar? Does this change who pollinates? And what does this mean, and what does this mean for milkweed fruit production? The Aztecs believed that the returning monarchs were the souls of departed children. We stand to lose an incredible species that is important to people's culture. But if we want more monarchs, we need more milkweed. Hopefully my research will help land managers do just that. Thank you.